This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hey guys, if you downloaded the free DC Universe Online game, and now it's uh, monthly for free also for the uh, PC or computer, and you get this message, your video graphics card is not compatible. Uh, I'm going to show you what to do to fix that, all right, and the cheapest way to do it. So I went ahead and got this. This is uh, $29 at CompUSA Tiger Direct, and I got it on sale. Okay, and this is a graphics card. And that's what it looks like. It has HDMI, DVI, and VGA. And here's the specs. You need, uh, it requires a 300 watt or greater power supply. And uh, here's, uh, you have to have Windows 7, Vista, or XP. Now I'm going to show you how to install this bad boy. So here's everything that comes with the uh, software disk, the plates, and the card itself. Alright, first thing you want to do is click on the um, manual in your CD. And you'll It'll pull up a PDF right here. You scroll down. Basically, it tells you that you have to discharge your um, static from your body by touching any metal or ground. Okay? Just hold the edge of the um, graphic card, the video graphic card. Just hold the edges so you make sure you don't static discharge it. That's what it says right here. And then also it says disconnect everything, printers, all everything that's connected to your computer, unplug it, even the power cord. All right, and then go ahead and put in um, the card, and you have to reboot it and all that good stuff. And here's the different um, PCI slots, which are good and which are not good. Obviously, if it doesn't fit, it's not going to be good. So that's kind of common sense. All right. <clears throat> Some uh, require additional power. All right. So make sure you uh, observe that if it's not working, probably because it needs that additional power. Preparing your operating system. It says also right here that you have to, um, you know, before installing our drivers, make sure you have uninstalled prior prior display drivers from Windows Control Panel and had this. Enable any integrated display adapters in device manager if necessary. Disable antivirus software during installation. All right, to uninstall any oh to, to uninstall or suspend your antivirus, just right-click it, and when you right-click it, you can um, get into the user interface and suspend it. All right. Sometimes you don't have to. In some cases. Uh, go ahead and hit the start button right here. Go to control panel right here. Click on uninstall programs right here. Scroll down. Okay, look for anything that says video drivers or anything like that. Here, graphics, media, accelerator. Click on that and then click on uninstall right up here. It'll say uninstall. And then hit continue. Next. All right, what you don't want to uninstall is your audio drivers. So be careful, it says high definition that read after it, it'll say audio driver. Some people might actually think high definition and think of a video driver. Now you want to um, make sure you have service, you know, the correct service pack updates on your operating system. So if you need service pack two, go ahead and get service pack two. You, the only thing you have to do is click on you know an upgrade all right which is update right here Windows update just click on that or you can just click on search hit the start button search Windows update and just type it in right here it'll come up so what you want to do now is you're gonna shut that shut everything down unplug everything 
And after you uh, uninstalled in the control panel your video drivers, you want to unplug your power. On so now the power is unplugged. The light will eventually go out. Unplug the audio cable, which was plugged into the green port. Unplug your Ethernet or your Wi Fi adapter, whatever you have. Your uh, VGA cable. Let's unplug that. Okay. And your mouse and keyboard. Some people have a mouse and keyboard that's USB or wire that little Wi Fi adapter. Alright, and the video card slot's gonna be like right in here. Next thing you want to do is unscrew this panel right here. You might have a couple of other screws, but as of right now, you just unscrew this thing. And it should lift straight out. Here's a little handle right here. You just pull on that up. It should pull straight off. Just pull it straight up. It might be stuck. You just give it a yank. And this whole panel will come off like this. All right. <clears throat> if you see any dust in here, I would probably vacuum it out, which there's a lot of dust, because uh, dust will actually overheat. See, there's a lot in here. Dust will actually overheat your uh, computer. All right, now that we have the computer opened, you'll see right here, so right here is the processor and the fan. You want to clean that out with a vacuum since you have it opened. Um, here's your video slots right here. You got one right here. Yeah, I'll show you a closer look right there. Okay. <clears throat> and make sure you touch something metal, like right here or so, to discharge static electricity from your body. <clears throat> and then uh, you can wear a ground strap around your wrist. It's like a dollar. Next thing you want to do is take out the video card. I hold the video card like this from the edges on the sides just in case. <clears throat> can never be too careful. And if you look at the, see how that is one solid piece on the left and there's a small piece right there on the right. You'll notice what slot, what slot to put it in. And see, uh, you can see there's a long space right here and then a divider and a small spot right here so obviously it goes there all right next thing you want to do is you want to pop out the panel and uh, basically to do that it just uh, <coughs> there's a screw right there and this comes off and these pop out right here these pop out all right so go ahead and unscrew that that off, take this piece off, and this one should pop out easily, just like that. And now you put the video card in. All right. Make sure you put it in flush, evenly. Because if it's not, it's it's not going to work at all. Be real gentle. Don't get uh, antsy and break anything. So go ahead. You know, click in. By the way, Dominic. Shh. Yeah. All right. Push it in so it's nice and even. Go ahead and put the cover back on. And go ahead and put the screw back in. that <clears throat> should sit down nice and even like so and that's that easy and it'll look like that when you're done 
Now go ahead and put the casing on. It slides on right here. There's grooves. There's grooves right here and here. And there's hooks. Make sure you line them up perfectly. <clears throat> like about so. And then push in. And then there's a this is the HP pavilion. Just screw that screw in. And then plug everything back in. And then install the drivers. Now what you want to do is plug everything in. Here's the video. I'm going to get HDMI or DVI adapter actually later. <clears throat> now that you uh, installed um, the CD now, you want to click on this one, this one, and this is the patch. And you can click on this as well. This is your manual in case you screw up. But uh, I will look at that and print it out before you go ahead and do any installation. Just click on the video driver right here. Here it comes. Hit next. All right, after like 15, 20 minutes or whatever, it'll say, uh, you know, wizard's complete. So go ahead and restart your computer. Anytime you install new software, you gotta restart your computer. Just click on that and hit finish. Now you can go ahead and play DC Universe and it won't say uh, video card is not um, capable of playing this. And you can even create uh, Incredible Hulk in the game, even though he's Marvel. So this guy created the Incredible Hulk. You get your missions at the uh, police station. So just go ahead and go, uh, you go up to uh, you know one of the uh, officers and just hit circle, and it'll give you a mission to do.